Let's dive into one of the hottest debates brewing in the world of artificial intelligence. Picture this, a relatively unknown Chinese tech startup, DeepSeek, steps onto the global stage with a bold move, releasing its model DeepSeek R1. The kicker? It performs on par with OpenAI's highly acclaimed O1 model, but does it cheaper, more openly, and with less powerful chips. It's got the scientific community buzzing, and Silicon Valley a little nervous. So, what's the deal with DeepSeek? How does it stack up against giants like OpenAI? And what might its rise mean for the future of AI? Buckle up, because this story is as much about geopolitics as it is about algorithms. First, let's unpack what makes DeepSeek's approach so intriguing. DeepSeek, our one uses a reasoning-based system to tackle complex problems, from chemistry to coding, in a step-by-step -step way that mimics how humans think. This is the same category of model as OpenAI's O1, which wowed the world when it debuted. But here's the twist. DeepSeek is offering its model as open weight. That means researchers can actually dig into the algorithm and build on it. Think of it like handing someone not just a cake, but the entire recipe, complete with notes on how it was baked. OpenAI, on the other hand, keeps its models locked up like a top-secret family recipe. You can eat the cake, but good luck figuring out how it was made. This openness is a double-edged sword. For scientists and developers, it's a dream come true. They can tweak, test, and innovate without the high barriers often imposed by proprietary models. Mario Kren, an AI researcher from the Max Planck Institute, called DeepSeek's transparency remarkable. Compare this to OpenAI, which has leaned toward a more commercial, closed-off approach as it's grown. Critics have argued that OpenAI's ethos has shifted over the years, moving away from its early mission of open research to a focus on monetization and control. But let's not get carried away. Openness comes with its own set of challenges. By releasing our one as open weight, DeepSeek risks enabling malicious actors who could repurpose the technology for less noble causes. Think disinformation campaigns, cyber attacks, or worse. OpenAI's black box approach may frustrate researchers, but it does act as a gatekeeper of sorts, controlling who gets access and how the tech is used. It's a classic case of freedom versus security, and neither approach is without flaws. Now about the money. One of the most jaw-dropping aspects of DeepSeek's rise is its cost efficiency. Training its V3 model reportedly cost around $6 million, a fraction of the $60 million meta spent on its Llama 3.1 model. And the savings don't stop there. Researchers testing are one say it costs roughly 1 30th of what you'd pay to run OpenAI's O1. For scientists on tight budgets, that's a game changer. Imagine running an experiment for $10 instead of $300. It's like switching from a luxury car to a fuel-efficient hybrid without sacrificing performance. How does DeepSeek pull this off? Part of it comes down to hardware. The company has figured out how to achieve competitive results using less powerful chips, sidestepping the high-end semiconductor arms race. This is particularly significant given the US's export controls on advanced AI chips to China. By focusing on efficiency rather than brute computational power, DeepSeek is proving that you don't need the latest and greatest hardware to compete. This also pokes holes in the argument that controlling access to high-end chips is enough to maintain dominance in AI. So what's the catch? Well, some skeptics argue that DeepSeek's models, while impressive, may lack the robustness and scalability of their US counterparts. OpenAI has spent years refining its models, addressing edge cases, and building an infrastructure to support global-scale applications. DeepSeek's approach is undoubtedly innovative, but it remains to be seen whether it can handle the same level of real-world complexity and user demand. And let's not overlook the geopolitical undercurrents here. DeepSeek's success is being viewed by some as a direct challenge to US dominance in AI. Francois Chalet, an AI researcher, pointed out that DeepSeek's rise demonstrates that being efficient with your resources matters more than compute scale alone. It's a wake-up call for Silicon Valley, where bigger has often been equated with better. But it's also causing unease, especially given the broader tech rivalry between the US and China. Some fear that open weight models like our one could be weaponized, while others worry about losing the competitive edge in a field as transformative as AI. 
Now, let's hypothesize about the future of DeepSeek and open AI models in general. If DeepSeek continues on its current trajectory, it could spark a shift toward more collaborative and cost-effective AI development. Imagine a world where cutting-edge AI is accessible not just to tech giants, but also to smaller labs, startups, and even individual researchers. This democratization could accelerate innovation in ways we can't yet imagine, tackling everything from climate change to healthcare. But for this vision to materialize, DeepSeek will need to address some key challenges. Scalability is one. As more people adopt R1, the demands on DeepSeek's infrastructure will grow. Can they handle the pressure without compromising performance? Then there's the issue of trust. While openness is a selling point, it's also a vulnerability. DeepSeek will need to find ways to mitigate misuse while maintaining its commitment to transparency. Meanwhile, the competition won't be sitting idle. OpenAI, Meta, and other tech giants are likely to double down on their own offerings. OpenAI's next-generation models, for instance, could further widen the gap in areas where DeepSeek currently lags. But there's also a chance that the industry takes a page from DeepSeek's playbook, embracing greater openness and cost efficiency as a way to stay relevant. In the end, the rise of DeepSeek is a fascinating chapter in the story of AI. It's a reminder that innovation doesn't always come from where you expect it. Sometimes it's the scrappy underdog, working with limited resources, that ends up rewriting the rules. Whether DeepSeek's open weight approach becomes the new norm or remains an outlier, it's already challenging assumptions and pushing the industry in new directions. And who knows, maybe in a few years, we'll be looking back at this moment as the start of a more open, collaborative era in AI. Or maybe we'll be grappling with the unintended consequences of making such powerful tools freely available. Either way, one thing's for sure, the conversation about AI's future just got a whole lot more interesting.